Yeah, I want to talk about the experience I had here gardening in Ecuador. I have uh, such a different outlook and uh, from these experiences that I've gained here in Ecuador. And I've realized that um, when you have plants growing together, they do much better. These rows and columns that we're used to, and I'm still guilty of it. Don't don't kid yourself. I'm you know very very much still stuck on this rows and columns of vegetables, and it's very hard for me to break loose from that as well. So my question to all gardeners: Could you take all these vegetable seeds, open them up, put them into a bag, shake them up? and spread all these different varieties of uh, vegetables onto a 10 meter by 10 meter garden bed. So you'll have um, okra growing beside beets, growing beside cucumbers, growing beside cauliflower, uh, parsley. So you'll have all these vegetables growing beside each other because you put them all into a bag and you mix them up. This is a huge problem for our brain, okay? So let's say a garden expert says to you, if you put this into a bag, all these seeds, and you mix them up and you spread them out nicely on a 10 meter square plot, and you're gonna get 25% more vegetables and uh, you're going to be an incredibly happy gardener because you have less work, you have less involvement in the garden, and so on. So somebody's proposing to you a better way to garden, a simpler way to garden. You're going to have to work half an hour every night instead of one hour and 30 minutes, whatever it may be. But you now are a different gardener. Your friends show up at your garden and they say to you, oh my God, what the hell did you do? Your garden is a mess. And you say to them, well, it's a mess, but I get 20% more crop. I have to water less and I don't have to work as much in this type of a garden. The garden doesn't look good. It's very chaotic. So the guy, you know, that comes to your yard, he says, man, you've got a chaotic garden. And you say to them, yeah, that's how I garden now. I'm a chaotic gardener. So let's say this is $140 worth of seeds and you value your time in the garden at $24 an hour, just, just to give a number. And so in five hours, you, or six hours, whatever it may be, you've paid for these seeds. Come harvest time, your garden is chaotic, but there's food everywhere. There's, um, you know, there's more coverage of leaves. So the sun doesn't get at the topsoil. Um, it's absolutely a jungle. But you have produce absolutely everywhere. There's carrots, five carrots coming out here. There's a cauliflower here. There's another um, set of tomatoes growing up here. So you have all this life in this 10 square meters. The weeds are blocked out. The companionship of the plants make everything grow better. Um, everything is more um, lush. Everything tastes better. There's an interconnectivity between the roots. So your, your tomato roots are providing energy to your carrots. There's this complete soil connection in this 10 square meter piece of land. Here's the mental question. Could you actually do this? Could you have this completely disorganized garden in front of you that is unmanageable in your mind. Um, it is kind of really hard to, to classify as looking beautiful. It takes away the elegance of, you know, these rows and columns and, and all that. And you're, you're sitting there and you're like taking a break and you're saying, holy shit, everything is growing so well. Everything is... Um, flourishing, but I don't really even know where to begin. I don't know where, you know, where I'm going with this. I've lost, I've lost my control. And I think that is the biggest factor with this. Can we let go of our 
rows and columns? Can we be that chaotic in the garden? Can we be that um, uncaring? Can we, you know, not want to, you know, hoe the rows in between and make everything completely clean? What if all that work is removed? You just have to climb through and pick the taller weeds that are sticking through the uh, vegetable foliage. What if that is really the case? What if, you know, all the small gardeners maybe have the wrong focus? Maybe this chaotic type of gardening is the absolute, you know, the absolute savior of, uh, you know, saving water, saving time, um, increasing the uh, harvest per square meter, uh, maybe those are all the factors that would be in, included in this if I threw all these seeds into one bag, mix them up beautifully, and spread them on the 10 square meters. My question to you is, could you survive doing this? Would this drive you absolutely nuts? And I think I will put a number on it. I think 80% of gardeners would never be able to adopt this system or this idea that you know, chaos might be the better way to grow vegetables and produce.